Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about what is it like with OCD and how we should be perceived. First, people may ask, what is an OCD? Let me make it easier. Have you ever had the feeling that you forget to lock your door after you go out of house? Do you have the urge to go back and check? Think about that feeling that you want to go back and check. Multiply it by 100 times. Can you feel the uneasiness now? That is just a small peek into the life of people with OCD. OCD is short of Obsessive Compulsive Disorder. It is a mental illness called Anxiety Disorders. There are lots of mental illnesses. Anxiety Disorders, Mood Disorders, Eating Disorders, Impulse, addiction, uh, impulse Control and Addiction Disorders, Psychotic Disorders, and so on. Me, myself, is a typical example of people who suffer from this disease. For some people, they get the emergence of the disease that comes from something that can be spotted and addressed, such as an addiction or a traumatic experience. For others, the disease comes from something that can be more deep set, um, like genetics. People may ask, oh, do these people really exist? I thought they were just too effectively unconventional. Now I'm telling you, they do exist. People with OCD have repeated and unwanted thoughts. They can see images that are intrusive and harms that are really scary. These images are called obsessions. Obsessions make people do compulsive and ritualistic behaviors to get rid of these thoughts. That's why you can see people with OCD always cleaning and counting stuff. If they don't do that, they'll feel really stressful and sad. OCD exists more often than you think. It is said that there are 2-3% to 3 of people who have OCD in the whole world. It means that there are 1-2 to 2 people who have OCD in a 50 student class. The two main treatments for OCD are therapy, psychotherapy, and medication. The therapists usually combine those two methods together. Um, all doctors can do is to give you medicine and advices to make you feel better and tools to affect uh, to to help you with your anxiety uh, some medicines have side effects like it can make you have a stomach ache it can make you feel dizzy it can make you feel sleepy and tired that's what normal people can never understand my ocd came from my dad's family history my sister was fine but however i got caught by this disease it just happened randomly when I was small, my problem, which is anxiety over hygiene, was not a big deal. My parents even thought it was a part of my character. But when I slowly grew up, things got worse. I was doing all the cleaning all the time, and then I have no time to study. This means I have to go to a hospital in Shanghai to take my therapy. The therapy contains medication, psychotherapy, and even electroshock therapy. It connects a small current into your brain and impacts the chemicals out. Sounds a little scary, isn't it? But whatsoever, the worst part of the disease is not even the treatment. It is the misunderstanding of the people around you. People always say, I have OCD too. Oh, I'm such a clean freak. I just wanted to put everything in a fixed position. But, and others would say, just, just calm down, you'll be fine. If you know someone that has a heart disease or handicap, would you ever make fun of them? No, you won't. OCD is just like a heart disease. When anxiety attacks, we are never pre pretending to be uncomfortable or trying to get any attention. OCD will literally seize you and take away anything you love. I think most people do not take the time understand, to understand OCD and those mental illnesses. Society in general also have a lot of negative opinions about those mental illnesses. The sources in China are also scarce. So many people in China would never talk about their disease to others because they are afraid of if they told them that they will lose friends or some sort of kind of job. On the contrary, me, I am I, I know a lot of patients throughout my therapy 
that are really great persons. They are intelligent, smart, and kind. Having those diseases aren't their fault. What they need is the support from their friends and family and the society we are living in. We are not. I am not ashamed of my OCD. In some ways, I think it's a kind of blessing to me. Without OCD, I would never know the happiness, the simplest happiness of life, like talking to a friend in the park or riding a bike along the river. It makes me know that so many people love me and so many people treat me as true friends. The story of my OCD I'm talking about is to tell you guys that OCD is really painful and it needs strength to fight it. I'm not defined by my disease, I'm defined by my character. Please be as supportive as you can to those people who have OCD and mental illnesses around you. Do not be afraid of having those diseases. Some great people in the history like Picasso and Einstein also be identified as identified it as crazy people. It is said that when God closes a door, it'll open a lot more windows for you. That's it. Thank you very much.